And it's uh, tough to win a game when a team shoots close to 60% uh, from the arc and from inside the two. And uh, just flat out just pushed us anywhere they wanted to around the, around the, around the court. I'm not saying that in a negative way, I'm saying in a positive way. They were just flat out tougher, more aggressive, more determined. And as a result, uh, they had us on our heels all night. Well, we weren't very tough. Uh, we broke down a lot late in the shot clock, stared down three pointers. And that's how they got a lot of stuff. I thought for a good 25 seconds we were right there, and then the guy would kind of just stare us down and shoot a shot. At some point, you got to say enough is enough. It looked like you were trying different things, zone presses. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, we tried just about everything, so we. It's for this group, two nights in a row, clearly we didn't have the gas, the energy, and the effort that we needed to beat a, a really good Indiana State team uh, on the second night. So uh, I feel a lot better coming in here yesterday than I do right now in both of them were losses. Uh, I just thought that we just, we just didn't have the energy and effort that we needed to, to compete here for that. Ricky, defensively, when you're out there playing, does it seem like you guys are on the same page? Uh, we, just, we just didn't uh, commu communicate as much as we did yesterday. Um, we lost uh, a few battles on the boards and just uh, didn't try it down enough on the balls. Um, but that's pretty much what the defense is about, just communicating and uh, helping each other out. So you're talking about talking to each other? Yeah, communicating, telling people where the screens are, and loose balls, everything like that. Um, kind of didn't uh, talk as much today. Is that part of it? Guys, the veteran guys, maybe don't know the new guys yet. Are you still getting to know each other? No, it's it, it, it not that we played. We've been playing along for for almost a year now, so that shouldn't be a problem. But just kind of leadership, uh, I didn't do what I was supposed to do today. Rob, you get second half. You guys start with a turnover and then shoot one for eight or something. Is that good? Well, the, the, the loss is deflating. I, I think for us, it's all we stay aggressive and. Sloppy. This is a little, just a little clean up some things, but it clearly having the ball being down two, coming out the second half, that's not what you want to turn over to begin. But you just make the next one. You just move on from there. I thought, you know, we were right there, 68 point game with a couple, two to three minutes left, and uh, so we were still in a position to finish the game the correct way, and we didn't finish the game the right way. We just didn't. We made some, we did some things that aren't part of our plan. And that, that's what we have to get back to and just stay committed to doing the things that, that we work on every day. That, that, that's where I'm more frustrated than in. I mean, they made some shots. They went in. I know what type of team we are. Yeah, but down the stretch, there's no excuse for us not finishing the game stronger than, than we have. And it's been two nights in a row. We just haven't finished the game stronger. I think one time they got a lot of coming around behind us. Right. Well, this it's, it's happens. You know, how do we get down the court for layups sometimes? How do we get big games over the three? I mean, it's it's you know it, it's, it happens. Um, I'm not going to point the fingers at any one player or any guy. It's, it's five guys playing D, and they got it done. Okay, started a lot better. I thought we came out with that energy and just, and then Indiana State next, and then it was just going to be a slugfest, and that's kind of how it was for the first 20 minutes. And then we kind of got rocked back on our heels a little bit in that second half and just never really, really got our footing under, under us again. So uh, that's kind of how I looked at the game. It, it was physical, they were tougher, and down the, down the stretch, they just they, they delivered the knockout blows. Where do you go from here now? This experience behind you? Oh yeah, there's a lot of games to keep laughing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh yeah, you gotta get better. You know, the four games, we had four games coming in, including our exhibition game, that I thought we got better each game. Um, this one, we, we kind of took a step backwards, so maybe we take a step backwards and a couple steps forwards uh, on the next game. So we'll go back and we'll do our jobs as players and coaches and, and we come out, come out better and we'll work on some things. Absolutely. How did the tone do anything today? Tell him, uh, it's, uh, you said he might get out of the court. 
didn't have a chance to do a shoot around this morning, back to back games. I just felt that we need to save our legs, knowing how tough this game is going to be. So, and not having a chance to get over and go before you didn't do anything. So, we get back home, we'll get them on the board and see what, uh, see what you can do. We definitely miss them out there. No doubt about it.